This is a brunch pre-Oscars mini podcast that contains spoilers, but we can't imagine you care. I like to be in America. Okay, by me in America. Everything free in America for a small fee in America. If you haven't seen the movie and you're afraid of spoilers, there's no way you would logically seek out a podcast about the movie. Let us begin. Pete, which side? Uh, I mean, I'm a, I mean, white, I'm a white guy, guy so, so uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, that means West I'm on the Jets. Side, say the name of the movie, West Side Story, not which side are you on. And well, you're on the Jets? I, I think I have to be. You would have been put on the Jets. I would have been, yeah, I would have been West drafted by the, the Jets. The movie. That's right, West, West Side, Side Story. Story. I there would not, uh, if I, I were apologize. drafted by the Jets, I would simply retire and play a different sport. <laughs> Uh, yeah, West Side Story, directed by Steven Spielberg. Who, that's right. We finish each other's sentences. That's right. Nice. And Sp- Steven Spielberg famously finishes Dick Richards' films <laughs> because Dick Richards gets fired from movies for referring to the shark as a whale. That is true. So uh, this is a movie that is up for seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture, also Best Supporting Actress, Ariana DeBose, who plays Anita, Best Director, Steven Spielberg, who replaced dick richards on jaws best cinematography best production design best costume design best sound it has the third best betting odds for best picture which is a little crazy to me it's got a 92 percent tomato meter 94 audience score this is a good movie this is a good movie i don't know if i like it as much as say your chicago's as far as musical Interp- or musical movies go, but this is not like a best picture thing for me. No, it's, it's, I mean, so I was disappointed that Steven Spielberg was even doing this movie in the first place because he's a guy that has all the clout anybody could ever want in Hollywood. He will make any movie that you could possibly, uh, that he could possibly dream up. He, they'll write him a, bl- they'll give him a blank check. He could have been doing the post two right now, is what you're saying. <laughs> Nobody wants the post two, but I do want Return a little to bit. Sleep. I do want a little bit more create creativity, maybe a a little bit more of a daring choice from Steven Spielberg. Jaws two, that that, that exists, he but should, uh, I would like to see spoilers. Jaws, but with a whale. He could get away with that at this point. If Spielberg was like, hey, he is I owe my career to this man, Dick Richards. Let's live out his vision. Let's live out. This is what Dick Richards would have wanted. <laughs> nobody knows if he's still alive. So nobody, I think Dick, Dick Richards still is. is. Still is. Still it, is kicking. Really? Yeah, I believe so. How have we not had him on the old uh, podcast? I don't know. But yeah, I was a little disappointed that Spielberg was doing this because, I don't know, I've, I've personally seen the West Side Story be presented a billion times uh, a lot of those times came in in elementary school and middle school and high school when it was put on by my uh, local theater like every three months. You're telling Spielberg, do stuff only adults can do. Why are you, why are you d- dipping your toes in the, the sandbox? That's right. This is kid shit. Uh, I'd never seen West Side Story before. I am horrified to know that... Uh, kids were putting on plays of murder and stabbing and racism and uh, attempted sexual assault. I mean, attempted gang rape, essentially. Yeah. Uh, I did not. So I, I looked up afterwards, like, what what the whole West Side Story thing was. I had in my head old fartsy ass play from the 50s. What could plays be about in the 50s? I knew about the sharks and the jets. A couple of, I thought it was like the, uh, I thought it was, have you seen Grease? Yeah. I thought it was the T-Birds and uh, what's the other gang? The other, the, those dorks. Yeah. I thought it was just them. They just like ride their cars real fast and stab each other. It's like play gangs. Yeah. And you got the pink ladies and Sandy shows up. And it's just an excuse to wear cool clothes. That's what gangs used to be. Grease was, Grease was not bad in my book, man. Yeah. They, they should have done, Grease should have been nominated for Best Picture. <laughs> Uh, I so I didn't know really anything about West Side Story. I was mainly appalled throughout it, and this is my fault. I was saying to you, like, movies obviously don't do trigger warnings, but if this movie was rated PG-13, as I assume it was, they should have flashed a thing before that was like, yo, for real, like, this really is PG-13. And I'd be like, West Side Story. It's fine. It's Relax. G. It, please. It's, well, what, what are they, like, show a boob or something? <laughs> this is fine. Like, immediate... Like racially charged fights, uh, again, stabbing, purchasing of guns, dancing around with guns, like fun little numbers, like cutesy, oh boy, you're just a boy holding guns, like throwing guns at each other. 
hated all that. Hated that scene for sure. That was one of the worst scenes in least the Least favorite number. Second least favorite number is uh, Maria, which is uh, sung with the energy of someone who like just met a girl. Well, clearly, like the lyrics of the song are like, I met a girl named Maria. Then I kissed a girl named Maria. What's her name? M-A-R-I-E. Maria, baby. That's her name. Like he, like his it's phone like a real, died like, and he needed to remember her name yeah. and wasn't going to otherwise. It was like, oh man, I, I better remember this girl's name because if I don't, she's going to be very upset. So he's just doing like the uh, beating it into his own head exactly. kind of deal. I wanted to uh, make a meme. Maybe I still can. There's time uh, where I say... Oh, let me find it. Uh, when you kiss a girl named Maria, and it's him singing, <laughs> I just kissed a girl named Maria. That guy's real pumped about Maria. Super pumped about kissing Maria. But he was just in prison, so maybe not doing a ton of kissing as that's of late. That's fair. He'd, but he, not only did he... I'll tell you what. That's not the song I'm singing if I'm him. I'm singing, I met a girl... We didn't say a single word to each other, and she started doing. She just gets all up on me. Yeah, the guys. Well, where will the guys hear this? Without she gets all up on me and does like a bup, 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 yeah, like bup. a bird, like a yeah, bird, like just, presentation. Yeah, yeah, and just like, and, and then, so I, then and, I start doing it. But the next thing you know, we're both all up on each other, and they're like, "You, well, you haven't said." Imagine, no, no, no. We're just like snapping at each other. Imagine in real, real life, hot. just like looking at somebody from across a gymnasium and being like. Not even speaking to each other and then just meeting each other behind the bleachers when like you're it's like two a real groups of people hate each other and you're doing like bird dances and then snapping. It's a real social glory hole. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Seriously. Though, yeah, you know no, yeah, like, essentially. Like, yeah. No call, like, hey, <laughs> yes. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> it's just like, okay, let's just get it. I mean, I haven't. I haven't st- talk to anyone i know into like hey can we just like get real close and like i just want to see what it looks like Let's just get real close and just like sna- you snap peacock around just go like bah, bah. <laughs> and they're like do i make noises like a bird no you make no noises except <laughs> when you snap and then later like your brother is gonna want to kick my ass or whatever and it'll be fine because everything will dissipate That's well right. a few days later I'm no, gonna this, kill him actually. Yeah, this movie fine. takes place in a very outrageously short period of time. Yeah. At one point, uh the the uh detective is like, So yesterday you were at the dance, and I was like, What? That was like <sighs> a, that was like an hour and forty five minutes ago in movie time. Yeah. The songs hit though. Don't like the boy one because so, there's a gun, but I like the I I mean America is an incredible song. Shout out Sondi for penning those lyrics. So the music is very good. Uh the Everything from a technical standpoint is pretty much amazing. Like, this movie's kind of a masterpiece in terms of presenting itself. It is the best-looking movie of this bunch by about 10 million miles. Yes. The it, one award that has to be won by any movie in the Oscars is this has to win for best cinematography. Yeah, I think that, that that's pretty much a lock. I think that I would be... I'd be pretty surprised if it didn't win for production design as well. Um, everything looked really great. Uh, that being said, it it didn't knock me on my ass. I don't think that it did anything like particularly amazing outside of anything in a non-technical category. Mm-hmm. The acting was pretty good for the most part, uh, especially uh, the the lead actress Rachel Ziegler, a YouTuber. That is Ziegler. A very uh, very impressive performance. Uh, but on the opposite end of the spectrum, Ansel Elgort was fucking terrible in this movie. He's not so bad. I thought that he was awful, he especially had, at the end. Like, I was going to say he had his moments of, that's pretty bad. And it was, unfortunately, at like the most important time. It was the 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 last couple of scenes where the movie's really meet, uh, reaching its climax. Ansel Elgort completely fumbles across the goal line. The the scene where and, and uh, dies, yeah, he, his character just straight up dies. He was bad at dying. That's how bad he was in this movie. I hope That's I'm the, bad at, at dying. Yeah, Actually, I, think... I don't want to like stretch it out. No, you want to be pretty good at dying. I want to be as good at dancing as uh, my man Bernardo's buddy. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not done uh, on Ansel Elgort because. Damn it. Uh, Ansel Elgort in the uh, the I be- believe the penultimate scene that he's in with uh, with. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Doc's widow. Valentina. Valentina. Doc uh, isn't in this movie. I don't know what you're talking about. He still has a drugstore, though. It's Doc's drugstore. That's true. Uh, Valentina 
breaks the news to Tony, played by Ansel Elgort, and he has one of the worst reaction, worst acted reactions I've ever seen. Not amazing. But there are a lot of like good. There's like a lot of uh, great shots up. At Ansel Elgort, like if you, when you're saying like, oh, this movie, uh, this movie was so great, and you did like a montage of why this movie was awesome, it would just be like a lot of like 500 Days of Summer esque, like check out Ansel Elgort, look how the light hits his face. Yes, it's the it's a lot of lighting, it's a lot yeah. of lighting lighting tricks, it's a lot both, of smoke smoke and mirrors on uh... both for Maria and and, and Tony. Like Tony, oh yeah, their scenes to, tends to walk into like a light, and it's just like on his eyes oh, yeah. and just like a, a like a sliver of light. Tony's Instagram page is bussing yeah that's right and then maria just stands on the balcony and gets lit perfectly uh on the uh she really gets her her money's worth on that balcony oh yeah she she like if they are showing that apartment in new york they're starting yeah the balcony they're like all right you got got a balcony and you talk about the current time they do everything on that but that's like (laughs) all they do is just like hang out on that balcony that's right really oh yeah they like talk to their friends and like they do this whole thing. They were say, they sing songs. Some living room, bathroom, the, dining room situation out on that she balcony. She really liked the balcony. Yeah. You are going to uh, want to ask uh, about the balcony. But uh, Chino, I don't like I don't like the murder that he commits. But he's responsible for a few deaths because he kills that dance floor. Ooh. When he gets moving, because he's just sitting there, just like, oh, no one likes me. I'm goofy. I came I'm here smart with Maria. Guy. I'm not as hot as Bernardo. Uh, he's going to kill somebody before I do it. So even when I kill somebody, it's just like, oh, Bernardo jumped off a bridge with you. And I'd be like, I can't. Bernardo already died. I'm really bummed about it. Uh, just me. But then he just says, you know, forget that Eeyore voice that I got in my head. And he just like spins. And he's yeah. like, his posture is Fucking incredible. He looks so good out there, he man. He just, like, develops confidence out of nowhere. Love and that. The best part about that scene for Big, me... Uh, one of the either ants or a bug's life energy. I think it's... I think it's ants when he just, like, starts dancing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. The big part of that scene for me uh, was the friendship element. Because... Uh, he gets out there. He's not the most confident guy. Uh, leading up to that, and it would have been easy for uh for his pals on the sharks to to make fun of him mm. and to be like, oh, look at this goofy this goofy ass on the on the D floor. Yeah, and uh, they weren't. They were uh, the best hype men of all time. Bernardo I can understand was right there for him. I can understand why he wanted to join the sharks because with hype men like that, you can't have haters. Yeah. Uh, speaking of dancing, this is how the dancing went in this movie. Bunch of guys, we're dance, we're tough, we're gonna dance with you, tough, tough guys, dance, but da ba da, dance, and yeah, it's like made in the fifties, so a lot of this is essentially ballet, but like you get the idea, we're going for tough, and then Anita comes flying in with a cool dress and is like flinging it all over the place, and like all the girls are behind Anita and they're like, ooh, we're better, we are just <laughs> so much prettier than all of this. And, like, the guys just get smoked. So the, they may be fighting each other, but they're really just, like, kind of splitting the vote. Because the when it comes to the dance scenes, it's Anita in her gang that wins. It is funny that, like, in this movie and in, the, like, the West Side Story uh, scheme of things, like, it's life or death for the Jets and the Sharks. And then, like, Set all the of the, all of their girlfriends or wives are like... Yo, none of this shit matters. You guys are being childish. Oh, yeah. The girl that uh, makes it with Riff is like, you told me that, uh, and I said make it because that's that would be how they would yes, say Yes, appropriate it for then. the time, yeah. Yeah. Riff makes it, right. like, as soon as the movie starts, they're right. jumping around. There's, like, a wrecking ball. And, and he rolls here, out. And here comes Riff. He's like, sorry, fellas. Classic sex haver. Yeah. Sorry. Presumably. So, so, am I late for the movie? <laughs> I was making it with this one. And she's like, oh, you're a ba 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 And then walks away. And they're like, okay, let's, uh, let's get knives and be racist. And I was like, I didn't think this is how this movie was going to go. <laughs> and then they, uh, they paint a, uh, a giant Puerto Rican mural with their hands. They were, uh, they were prepared enough to buy uh, many paint, uh, paint cans. But just didn't invest in one single brush, so they just uh, they globbed up the paint with their hands and tried to smear the uh, the mural, which I thought that was a hilarious way to start the movie. Not the most resourceful group. No. I mean, they pull they pull all their money together 
for one gun that uh, they get from from Curtis Cook, who's an actor that I quite like. But other than that, I just did not like the presence of the gun in this movie. Especially I cannot the dance get past. Numbers. I cannot get past the presence of the gun. It was too involved in uh, both the fight scene mm-hmm. and the dance scene because uh, gave me a lot of anxiety knowing that the gun was on a person during uh, those those rumbles and those dance scenes. The gun, the particularly the 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 battle over the gun between uh, Tony and what's the other guy's name? Sorry, Riff. Riff. Tony and Riff battling for the gun. A just a horrendous number, probably the worst number in this movie. I didn't. The first time I saw, I've seen this twice now. The first time I saw it, I was quite concerned that somebody was gonna fall or like, like maybe they'd slip and fall down. They'd be like, "Huh, could be worse." Don't forget, I gotta go. And like they accidentally shoot each other. I didn't want that, but I didn't want any of the deaths in this. I get like the thing I must impress upon listeners the most is I didn't fucking know that West Side Story was so heavy, so serious, so shocking. Because like even when they're doing like America, like they're or I feel pretty, the I feel pretty scene is great. Give me that. Give me just a bunch of like nice people singing and high notes and a, a, a nice tune. But then you got the stabbing and the guns and Chino Chino young man, like he oh, he fell such a long way. I, I I didn't like that everybody died. At points, at I points in this movie, in the film. <laughs> yeah. at points in the movie too, it, it felt like, and maybe this is a weird criticism, but it felt like too theatrical. Like they just like glazed over the very heavy things, and they were like, "Oh shucks, the uh, somebody got stabbed. Oh shucks, another person got stabbed. Oh, why are you doing that gang rape, huh, fellas? This is very disappointing." And oh no, I mean that scene stopped. You dead in your tracks. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty devastating from uh, from Valentina to be like, I've watched you children from your young age, and now you've become rapists so, as grown men. But they don't spend a lot of time on so it. So that's Doc in the play, right? So is that Doc that like I don't recall. is like what the fuck are you guys doing? That's where that's where I wish that I'd see because I did look up some of the uh, accuracies and accuracies differences. Uh, apparently the 1961 version of this play, which is a 50, 1957 play. Apparently, the original movie of this play just like took the sequence of the songs and just like put them in any crazy order they wanted. And this was more faithful to the actual play. So it seemed like they got a lot of things accurate for the original play, which I guess, I mean, 1957, people were not of the highest character. So yeah. I assume that they would like change a lot of but, stuff, but not of the highest character, but like usually you're unwilling to admit that. So for it to, to, to have like a, a, a production from the time be reflective of how bad everybody was yeah. is interesting. I wonder, yeah, I want, so Valentina is not, she runs Doc's store. She is Doc's widow. Doc was a white fella in the play, but he's not in this. And, I think it serves to – she's Puerto Rican. I think it serves to uh, give this movie an element of having somebody else with any sort of perspective on interracial relationships because Tony is interested in one with Maria, but everybody else not really into it. Although, I'll tell you what, for all his singing about, hey, I know a girl named Maria. Hey, Tony, Tony, and Maria. He's not really t- telling his friends about Maria. No, but I mean, I think that's because – there was only two days between meeting yeah. Maria and his friends also suck. I wouldn't tell them anything. Oh yeah, for sure. Espe- I especially knowing like how racist they are. I hate Riff. Yeah, Riff I, sucks. A lot, a lot of bad guys in the Jets. I'll say. Yeah, it's basically Riff and a bunch of followers. It's yeah. not to excuse any of the actions of the rest but, of them, but like, but Tony Riff wasn't sucks. Tony wasn't spending much time with those fellas in the two days that he had met Maria. He so. just wanted to hang out with Valentina and Maria, and I'm sure he wanted he to get the fuck been, out of town. Yeah, he would have been cool with Anita. There's, there are some good folks there. It's suck. Like, like Tony ends up murdering somebody though. Yeah, he does. He does. But uh, Bernardo was just a real hothead that day. He was, but I, I don't know. Like Tony shows up and he's like, "Yo." Tony didn't particularly seem to care for Riff all that much. Oh, but so but nobody so when, likes Riff. But when Riff got killed, he was, you know, he had to 
eye for an eye, apparently. Well, imagine he's being t- he's being told by someone in his life, like, you're not there for me. You're not there for me. You're not there for me. And then you watch somebody else kill that person. You probably get a whole lot of, like, oh, my God, I was never there for this person. Well, here you go, buddy. I'm Especially there for you. Especially in front of all like, the fellas, it's too. Riff. He sucks. No, yeah. no, no. And Bernardo, like, he look, Bernardo, throughout this movie, Bernardo is pretty good. He's just, like, a real hothead right now. And, Very like, you're trying to fuck his, his sister, his, so yeah. it's not really, like, you're kind of contributing this, too. Just don't stab it. Oh, I stabbed him. Yeah, it's unfortunate. And uh, then Chino shows up, and he's got that thing on him. I mean, let me tell you, uh, Tony really fucking telegraphed it for him. He was like, hey, I'm over here. Anyone oh, looking for me, Tony? Now that Want me you, to sing that Maria song again? Now that you found me, I'm going to turn my back towards you and run, uh, not even run, lightly jog away from you. So have at it. Here's an easy target for you. Tony, Tony, Tony. Um, yeah, but overall, I, I enjoyed the movie. Best picture quality? I I don't think so. Um Again, it's it's like a complete masterpiece from a technical standpoint. And so, this, you know, if it comes away with a few awards, I think that it, it, it absolutely will and it will be deserving of those. I don't think that it's going to be best picture. I hope not. I compared it to 1917 because from a technical standpoint, it is a fucking achievement. But it is pr- not better than a, a lot of the other movies in the category. Yeah, you can't just be one thing. And... I that wasn't being said, as high on 1917 as I everybody was. else because yeah. I thought it was like it was it, it, stunning visually and the rest of it was okay. That's how I feel about this movie. This is 1917 I think is better than this, but I this agree. Is, but and, and like but to, uh, to 1917's credit too, it was not only stunning visually, it was like a, an innovative movie where it's like one shot the whole time. Yeah, it like, like it, it did something that was way cooler than than what West Side Story did. It's just like an, an awesome director and an awesome cinematographer but putting together the best looking thing. If this did the fake one shot thing that 1917 did, then it would just be Birdman. That's true. Music the whole time and That's the fake true. one shot thing. That's why I was also like, I guess it's cool when you're like inspired by a contemporary thing that's going on, but when everyone was like, they made it look like one shot, I was like, yeah, so did the movie that just won Best Picture like three years ago, folks. But in a war movie, it's and probably harder. And that Weezer music video. A lot of new Diane Coffey music video is uh, all one shot. So, yeah, it's more impressive when a war movie does it. Uh, this shouldn't be best picture. It shouldn't be a favor for best picture. It Having the third best betting odds is like an extremely outrageous thing. But it should be nominated for best picture. I think that if you yeah. are... If you should run away with best cinematography, then you should be in the conversation yeah. for best picture. So, yeah, like you have to do, you have to do something. In my mind, you have to do something like fantastic or amazing to be nominated for best picture, and that at least this movie at least checks one of those boxes. Others, I think, check more of them, but it's a good movie. It's not unbelievable. I'll keep watching it. I'll certainly skip some scenes, but I'll keep watching it, and I'll never forget that character's name is Maria.